What if I told you that the sun, moon, and stars held secrets to a past civilization? Welcome to the mystical and captivating world of Dominican Republic mythology. Our journey begins with the Tainos, the indigenous people of the Dominican Republic. The Tainos believed the universe was divided into three realms, the heavens, the world of the living, and the underworld. They held the cosmic entities with great reverence, seeing the sun, moon, and stars as the ultimate source of life and death. At the heart of Taino mythology stood the supreme deity, Yukahu. Often referred to as the Lord of Cassava and the Sea, Yukahu was the embodiment of nature's fertility. He was the generous provider, the one who blessed the Tainos with bountiful harvests and plentiful fish. Parallel to Yukahu, there was Atabe, the goddess of fresh water and human fertility. She was the mother of Yukahu and the moon goddess. Atabe was often invoked in times of drought or when a woman desired to conceive. The Tainos also had a pantheon of lesser gods known as Semi. Each Semi held dominion over a certain aspect of life. For example, Guabansex, the goddess of storms, was feared for her destructive powers, while Boinael, the rain god, was revered for his life-giving showers. As we move forward, we encounter the mythology of the African slaves brought to the Dominican Republic during the transatlantic slave trade. These myths blended with the existing Taino traditions, giving rise to a unique set of beliefs and legends. Among these, the story of Anaisa Pai stands out. Anaisa Pai is a popular deity in Dominican voodoo. Known for her vivacious and flirtatious nature, she is the goddess of love, money, and happiness, and many Dominicans still invoke her in times of need. Fast forward to the present day, and you'll find that these myths continue to permeate Dominican culture. From the vibrant festivals to the local folklore, the echoes of the Taino, African, and later European mythologies can be heard. To summarize, we've journeyed through the rich tapestry of Dominican Republic mythology. We've seen how the Tainos revered the cosmos, the role of Yukahu and Atabe in their culture, and the significance of the semi-gods. We've also explored the influence of African mythology, highlighted by the story of Anaisa Pai. And finally, we've seen how these myths continue to shape Dominican culture today. Remember, every sun, moon, and star holds a story, and each story is a thread in the vast, complex web of Dominican Republic mythology. So, the next time you gaze up at the night sky, think of Yukahu, Atabe, Anaisa Pai, and the countless other figures that have shaped the Dominican mythological landscape. They are a testament to the power of human imagination and the enduring influence of our ancestral beliefs.